What's up guys, this is Volti back again for another video and in this video we will be asking the question what happens if you leave Gilneas at level 1? If you don't already know, in the walk-in starting zone you play in a town called Gilneas and basically what happens is you get turned into a worgen, you get the lycanthrope curse and then you become a worgen, you no longer become a Gilnean human. However, for a brief period of time, as you are level 1, you are actually a human. You are not a worgen yet. And as you turn into a worgen, then you get all the worgen abilities and so on. However, what happens if we leave the starting zone before we turn into a worgen? What happens? In this video, we will be exploring the outside of Gilneas from glitching outside of this zone. And it is going to be pretty awesome. As pay attention to what this NPC says. I want the intrude. He doesn't want anyone coming in or out the city. And we are definitely going to be getting out of the city. And to do this we will be using two items. Two important items that you can get from the auction house. It is a fell meteorite. As you can see here we just jump over that invisible wall. And we use the goblin glider. The Goblin Glider basically protects us from, you know, getting killed from the falling damage, which is obviously going to set us back. But yeah, it's that simple. It is literally that simple to get past that, to get past that wall. If you don't do that, then you'll be hitting an invisible wall and it's impossible to get out. There are some other ways to escape, but it's, I mean, that's the easiest way. As you can see, we see the... You know, we see the gate to Gilneas that you see in the intro cutscene. And first on our itinerary, we have to go to this lighthouse. If you don't go to this lighthouse, you'll be hit by an invisible wall. And you won't be able to progress further. But basically, just swim to this place. It's basically at the northern part of the map. So if you just go to the northern parts of the map, it I mean, you should see it on the map. We're pretty close. We're pretty close to the top of the map. It's like north. It's like northwest. So basically go here. And this sea is quite. I mean it's not as it appears to be. There are a lot of invisible walls. And uh, dead zones. Like if you go into a certain part of the seas. Then you will just die instantly. And you'll be teleported back. So you don't want that. Um, what we have to do here. I just hit an invisible wall right there. Don't worry about the fatigue, just swim over to this island, make sure you follow that kind of line in the water, I guess you could say, and you will hit this part of the sea. Once you're on this island, it's pretty straightforward, make sure to swim in this direction. If you do not swim in this direction, you will hit a dead zone and your character will die, and you'll be back to square one. So just swim over to this island, and this is believe it or not, is Silver Pine Forest. Except this is not the Silver Pine Forest you are familiar with. This is the Silver Pine Forest, which is a glitchy part of Gilneas. This is not... This isn't where you... Blizzard doesn't intend for you to be here, to put it that way. As you can see, we are at the back of the Gilneas Gate. I mean, this is the back of the Gilneas Gate. We are not supposed to be here, but as you can see, it isn't properly textured and there's lots of holes on the floor and stuff. If you go to a certain part of the Silver Pine Forest, you will see a big gap where the world should be. And you can see inside some pretty interesting <laughs> terrain. It's like an absolute like 90 degree angle going downwards. A very... Uh, Obviously not supposed to be part of the world. It's pretty glitchy. But yeah, this place is pretty massive. It's a pretty massive part of the zone that you are not supposed to be in. I mean, this is Silver Pine Forest, but this is a very warped version of Silver Pine Forest. That, you know, it's basically, we're still in Gilneas, but we're kind of in Silver Pine Forest. It's, it's kind of weird. As you can see, there's a lot going on down there. You can even see like the Dalaran bubble, like you know that protective field around the Dalaran bubble. And there are just random things on the floor. 
there's just random campfires and there's random seats just flying in midair. I believe this is like assets from a house that weren't put in. Like it looks like a house would be here, except it's uh, why are there so many like seats just randomly flying in midair? It's pretty weird. Like they put they wouldn't put in the house, but they would put in the seats and the campfires. Very strange, very surreal looking. You know, if you were just going here, I mean, you would wonder, you would wonder what the heck is going on. Why are there seats just flying in midair? But for some reason, I mean, these seats are here, but nothing else is here. And we are just in a twilight zone right now. And yeah, we can't get into this zone. It's blocked by an invisible wall. There may be a way to get in there. I don't know. Uh, maybe you can do. Maybe you can use the fell meteorite to get past this, but I'm not sure. I haven't tried. As you can see, there's a big hole there, and what is that giant structure going all the way to the bottom of the floor? It's actually the Gilnan Gate. For some reason, the model just—it's really, really long. It's got really, really like long towers that go into the ground. I'm not sure where. So, how do we get out of Gilnaeus? Where well, we have to follow this coast. Make sure to follow this coast, otherwise you will die, and you will go back to square one. You will go back to the graveyard, and that's it. <laughs> Game over. But, if we just follow this coast, you should be safe, and your character shouldn't spontaneously die. That is important. Once you get to this part, the specific part of the map, make sure to remove your half stone. Get rid of that half stone, because we will be doing a little a little trick using the unstuck thing. So if you go into help and click on unstuck, your character will basically do this. Your character will die. And basically, the way this works is that your character will spawn, like when the game gets confused as to where the hell you are, they will spawn you in two default places. The crossroads if you're Horde, Westfall if you're Alliance. In this case, we are Alliance, so we'll be going to Westfall. And just before this timer runs out, we click on Release Spirit. So we logged out, and on the one second before logging out, we release Spirit. And we should be in Westfall. <laughs> Believe it or not, we should be in Westfall. As you can see, we have made it to Westfall. We are still level 1. We haven't done anything. We haven't spoken to a single person. We haven't gotten the Wargan Curse. We are in the official world of Warcraft. However, <laughs> however, as soon as we step out this graveyard, this happens. <laughs> we become into a war gun spontaneously. And this is basically Blizz going, what the heck's going on? Why are you here? Why haven't you got any war gun abilities yet? And they just give it to you automatically. I, I think it's kind of unique, but for a split second there, you were in the world as not a human... Not a war gun, but someone before becoming a war gun. A, a race that should never be in the game. But as soon as you step a few steps into the world, you, you get given the war gun abilities. But you are in the unique position of being a level 1 character, a level 1 war gun in the world of Warcraft. I mean, that is... I mean, that shouldn't be. If you go past... The Wargan starting zone, you will not be level 1. But using this, you can be level 1. And that is just something quite unique. You are a Gilnean human that technically hasn't been bitten by the Wargan curse. You haven't been touched by the Wargan curse. So you are, for all intents and purposes, a Gilnean human that isn't a Wargan. It says you're a Wargan, but you're really not a Wargan. And that is something quite unique. A quite unique character trait you can tell people that you have. Well, if you guys like this video, please like down below and subscribe to the channel for more. I also have a Discord. If you feel like joining, please join that in the link below. You can get that in the description. And take it easy.